guys welcome to another lecture from introductory statistics we will talk about the rectangular or uniform distribution what is the uniform distribution what is the random variable what case exactly is for the rectangular distribution name suggests uniform distribution the random variable is uniformly distributed so when the random variable is uniformly distributed over some interval say a b we say that x is uniformly distributed in a b where the pdf of x is equal to 1 upon b minus a where a is less than b so what does this actually mean let's picture this if say this is your x axis and this is your y axis suppose a is here b is here we are saying that there's a uniform probability the word uniform stands for it's going to be the same it it will not change so it is the same probability throughout of x between a and b this is your fx the probability so whatever is fx it's going to be the same between A and B. So, which means that the probability that X lies in this interval AB is equal to area from A to B, FX dx. Now, what do you want to know? You want to know what is FX. I have quoted it as 1 upon B minus A. How so? Well, we know that the area is supposed to be, the total area is supposed to be 1, right? So, this area by the property of probability distribution function, this should be 1, right? It should be 1. How will it be 1? It will be 1 in case, let's take this length. Considering this length, this length has to be B minus A right? So, what we want to know is that this height that is fx, what this fx is, this height is fx, right? Now, area that I've taken in integral is nothing but area of the rectangle. Area of the rectangle is length into breadth, which we can take as b minus a into fx, and now this should be equal to 1. So what do you think fx should be? It will be 1 upon b minus a. Once you know that this is the, uh, once you know that the interval is a, b, and this length is b minus a, the height has to be 1 upon b minus a in order for this area to be equal to 1. The reason why this is called a rectangular distribution is exactly this, because this is the rectangle that will get generated, okay? Now, what is the expected value of this random variable? And what is the variance for this random variable? Let's figure that out. Expected value of uniform. Expected value in general is integral x fx dx. And over all the x's, this time x's are from A to B, right? So over all the x's, this in our case will be A to B x into 1 upon B minus A dx. 1 upon B minus A is just a scalar quantity that can come out like this. And then you have integral x. Integral x is x square by 2. And the bounds are A to B. So therefore, 1 upon B minus A here. And what you get is B square minus A square upon 2. Well, you can use the property A square minus B square. So B square minus A square is nothing but B minus A. B plus A upon B minus A into 2. So, of course, this cancels off. And what you are left with is a plus b by 2. So, what is the average a plus b by 2? 
On the similar grounds, we can also find the variance. So let's find the variance for this random variable. Well, for variance, you know that it is ex square minus ex whole square. So we will have to find out ex square. ex square is equal to integral a to b x square fx dx. We know what is fx. So fx is 1 upon b minus a which can come out and this will become a to b integral x square dx. So this turns out to be 1 upon b minus a x cube upon 3 a to b. So that gives you b cube minus a cube upon 3 times b minus a which is same as saying b minus a a square plus a b plus b square whole thing upon 3 times b minus a this this cancels and hence you get a square plus a b plus b square whole thing upon 3. Now you already have ex. So ex square minus ex whole square gives you a square plus ab plus b square upon 3 minus a plus b upon 2 whole square. So from here what we will get is a square plus ab plus b square minus I'm going to take the LCM so remember this is square so 3 into 4 so 3 into 4 so this will be multiplied by 4 and this is multiplied by 3 3 times a square plus 2ab plus b square so here 4a square plus 4ab plus 4b square minus 3a square minus 6ab minus b square 3b square whole thing upon 12. So this turns out to be a square plus b square minus 2ab upon 12. So what you basically have is a minus b square upon 12 and that is the variance for a uniform distribution. Very commonly we take uniform distribution in the interval 0 1 uniform 0 1. So which basically means that you're taking a as 0 and b as 1 in that case, when x is uniformly distributed in the interval 0, 1, the expected value simply becomes a plus b, that is 1, upon 2, so half. And the variance becomes b minus a or a minus b square, that is 1, upon 12. So these are some things that you should always remember about the uniform distribution. Thank you very much.